Five months ago, we took over this two-story warehouse in East London. Since then, we've been working hard to build our dream creative studio. Go inside and check it out. So this is our daylight studio. Yeah, we've done a lot of work already on this space. A giant wall now in the studio. The wall's actually in. On our Instagram, we did some episodes of us building this wall uh, before it was a real jumble of um, all sorts, really. There was windows going into the bathroom, uh, lots of sketchy stuff. So we built this big wall, plastered it. Um, we did a poll recently on what colour we keep it, but I think we're going to keep it with a raw plaster just because it's a nice neutral finish uh, for people to take photos and stuff against. Um, we get 360 light in here, which we're super yeah. blessed with. So really nice for daylight photography, yoga studio, any kind of stuff can happen in here. Just want this whole place to have like a nice warm atmosphere. I'm not the best model for this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I like how you step in. <laughs> Initially we were thinking like, oh, what color to pick? But we chose this beautiful beige neutral just because it does give quite a warm atmosphere. As we know, the space is quite white. We don't want it to feel a bit stale. So this is one of my favorite parts of the studio, soon to be favorite parts of the studio. We are planning to create a little creative, cozy wellness corner up here. Another lovely thing is the view. You can see the whole studio from up here. It kind of feels like a little tree house. But yeah, come on down. Moving on to our very work in progress office. This is gonna be the office slash editing suite in here. So yeah, absolute mess right now. I've just ripped up all the floorboard boards, painted the brickwork white. What to do with the ceiling really when we first got the place the ceiling was covered in these like glow-in-the-dark stars so you know kind of wanted to keep them but maybe maybe not the vibe <laughs> reminded me of being a kid when we first got this space and this is the space we've currently done the most work on um it was an absolute tip in here wasn't it, <laughs> it really was i still remember the first day we got here yeah it was yeah. like intense cleaning my, my parents even came and helped out because it was just the walls were basically gray yeah. there was just like cigarette butts everything it had been kind of semi-abandoned for the um the kind of three four months before we moved in it needed a lot of love yeah, yeah we put it that way. and we gave it a lot of love <laughs> yeah we have as we've taken over the space we've learned about the history of it it's always kind of uh, for the past 20 30 years or so been a creative studio and creative space it was mm -hmm. a desk share before definitely in upcoming episodes we want to explore the history of this place like it even got its roof blown off in the war so there's a lot of stories to tell with that i'm really excited about this one because i'm gonna i'm currently diying some um, beaded curtains so it's gonna give a bit of an 80s vibe to it i think it's gonna look really really lovely instead of having blinds and curtains we thought, why not jazz it up a bit? I think it'll be so nice that when the sun comes in in the morning, it's gonna glimmer through and we're just gonna have like little colors around here. I think it's gonna be really, really lovely. We're also gonna put some shelves across the windows. We're gonna box in this horrible boiler here. But we do love it though, it keeps us warm, <laughs> like the boiler. Another one of my favorite parts of the build so far has been designing these shelves with Josh. They might look simple, but ever since we made the decision to extend the wall out, because it used to finish, where that door is there. I knew that there would be kind of a, a blank space behind here that would be a bit useless. Got Josh to design these shelves that are actually built into the wall, just gonna be like for mugs, for cups and that kind of thing for clients. We'll also have like a, a drape that goes across here to just keep them outside, but really nice to be able to design a, a little space would have just been wasted otherwise um, with these cool shelves. So yeah, really happy with how they turned out. Let me show you also this room right here. So this is one of our more functional rooms. This is going to be for makeup artists when they're doing makeup on their models. We're going to have two big mirrors over here. And this is going to be the dressing area. As you can see right here, we got the shower. Again, just a more functional space for people to just do their things. A little hideaway attic space just for storage and that kind of thing. Here we have the toilet. We have big plans for this little toilet. Don't judge her. And that's it for the upstairs. We'll move downstairs where um, the real work needs to happen. <laughs> I 
the basement as we call it there's obviously a lot of work that needs to happen down here very much a work in progress as is everywhere so please go and check it a lot of this space at the minute is just being used to re uh, to service the rest of the renovation so we've got all our wood and material was organized it was a rehearsal space for like bands and stuff so it's already been semi soundproofed and it actually we've tested it out it actually works pretty well yeah so i think the plan right now with this space it's a bit floating and changing turn this into some kind of podcast studio or if people want to um keeping true to the history of it if people want to come and dj here mm. or bands want to rehearse here uh be in a space for that um sound sensitive video shoots and interviews could all be done in here acoustic panel like all of the walls and just make it sound a lot nicer in here too so yeah lots of options and then we've got the scary secret <laughs> room in here i feel like i'm going in the back room so. <laughs> So it might not look like much, but there's a decent little space in here. My friends Nick and Miriam, who are both film photographers, they're setting up a dark room slash uh, printing, film printing station here. Um, I've just kind of given this space over to them to do what they like with it. Um, and really exciting to see that little sub project come together. It'd be a fun little resource to have at the studio. So moving on, where are we going, Anika? To what was once upon a time a motorbike workshop. Can you believe people used to build, fix the motorbikes here? As with the whole of this downstairs really, is such a blank canvas, um, albeit a scrappy canvas, um, that we kind of want this space to remain a very flexible creative space. Um, if you want to come and do painting, if you want to come uh, use the workbench, uh, build a sculpture, all that kind of thing, we want this to be the room for that. We, a, a designated space where you can get messy, where you can get paint all over the floors, um, that kind of thing. And then also using it as a bit more of, for film and photography, as a bit more of an experimental space. We'll probably end up putting a little um, Infinity Cove in the corner for a green screen or something like that. So just any project that's a bit more experimental and just needs like a versatile, sp open, uh, limitless mm. space in a way. Yeah, this toilet needs a lot of work. Um, I think we might get rid of the glass door and we might we might end up building some walls because I've, I've heard people like their privacy on the toilet. Yeah, that's it for the downstairs. The last part is this garden area. We're gonna knock down that horrible shed and that will give us a lot of space out here to kind of build a, a little herb garden. Yeah, I can't and wait then, to. Um, there'll be a nice outdoor seating um, in this space. Lots of trees and plants. Mm. And if it's a place people want to come and do a bit of outdoor photography yeah. in a nice garden, it will also be a space for that. That concludes our tour. And yeah, it's been so much fun showing you guys around. Yeah. I think we'll try and do this every few months. I mean, the space is changing yeah. day by day, like, but we, we post lots of updates on our Instagram, on our TikTok. Um, so if you want to see more daily changes and daily life in the studio, follow us on there. And then we'll be posting these big um, updates on YouTube kind of every couple of months. Yeah. All right. okay. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>